Well, how you doing? This is Dave. It's Pioneer Day here in St. George, Utah. And I've got to tell you, um, we didn't attend any of the events here because the LDS Mormon people love the Pioneer Day. It's a state holiday. In essence, things are closed. Banks are closed. I always thought it was very interesting that my wife, who was a nurse, got a paid holiday off for this day, but she wouldn't get paid holiday for Easter or Good Friday, which is very interesting being in the state of Utah. Now, I want to talk about something because I got to tell you, living here, being formerly Mormon for, uh, gosh, 25 years and left the Mormon faith, I've got to tell you, I love Mormons. Mormons are great people. They're good, solid people. They are, you know, one of the nicest people. If you a lot of times if you believe what they believe, there's a great village, there is a great way to support people. Um, they have bishop uh, food houses, like storehouse where they give food for the poor. They do a lot of good things, there's no doubt about it. The Mormon people are solid people. I have said many times, I'm sure many people agree with this, that who are, who are Christians would say that the system that they have is a good system. Many times, I wish we had that same system. I wish we had that same, um, that same way of, of connecting to each other. And uh, there are many who do, who are Christians, Orthodox, Catholic, they, they have great systems too. But in the Mormon faith, they obviously, um, they have a lot of money. They have billions and billions and billions of hundreds of billions of dollars. So they're able to do a lot with that money. Now, the reason I'm talking today is for a specific reason. I love the Mormon people. The LDS people are very, very, very nice people. And that's the positive thing about it. But I really detest the theology because why? You see these really good, solid people and you think of what they believe in, really what they believe in. It's just amazing to me how different it is from any form of Christianity you know, regarding the, the Trinity, the, the historical concept of, of the faith and how Christianity started. They don't have depth and critical thinking. They don't go to levels of critical thinking, of trying to, to figure out how Christianity started and, and how it started with, you know, the apostles and then the apostles continued to uh, open churches and open jurisdictions and seas and 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 if you talk to them about like oh gosh the apostolic fathers like Clement the first or or Saint Ignatius or if you want to talk about Polycarp the beginnings of Christianity they really don't have that depth and that critical thinking of how it happened and what was that all about because in their minds they believe that they are the restored church. They believe that they have the true church without ever looking and analyzing and having critical thinking of studying the ancient faith and evaluating that. So what happens to me is as I look at these people and you hear this, you know, you hear the snow cone truck in the background. This is like, you know, this is like America you know, virtuous mom apple pies. It's like, it's kind of crazy, you know, because it's good, it's good. Don't get me wrong, I, I believe in all that. Um, but what happens is that the actual deception that's going on in the minds of, of these people, and they're not willing to evaluate it or look, because you know what, for them it's a good life. You know, they have, they have a good system. They have people who they care about, and it's all about family here and which is all good, it's all positive things. It's just the theology really just absolutely is a preponderance in, in my view. Uh, I, I can't accept it because it's about God being an exalted man who God the Father, that he lived on another planet and then he became a God that he was never uncreated, he became created, which to me is just, never makes sense and they don't want to answer this step um and and then jesus how the concept of who jesus is that that he's the brother of satan and he was a, a spirit child 
and that he wasn't always God. I mean, these theologies are just really so, in my view, crazy. But the fact is they don't look at the ancient historical church. Please, Mormons, if you're watching, go out and study. Go out and actually evaluate the ancient church. Look at the objective views, not the feeling so much that you feel it's true. Look at the objective views. Develop this, excuse me, my hands are like, it's really hard, it's hard to hold this. Um, the objective view of understanding and studying the ancient church so that you will know factually that it is proven objectively that the church never fell. So it's still here today. You can't have a restored gospel, you can't have a restored church if the church never fell. And if it's still here today, through the power of the priesthood, through the apostolic succession of, of the laying on of hands for these priesthoods, these bishops, you know, these, these priests and deacons, it's all done that way. It's been from the very beginning that way. And I know Mormonism copies a lot of the ancient faith, but I've got to tell you, just study. Just, you're good people, you're solid people. You know, uh, there are people that, that I see and, and, it, and it troubles me because it's such a solid group of people. And I look at them and I, I just go, but you don't really know. You don't know the actual truth of the history of Christianity. And we're so opposite in, in beliefs. And it's just a struggle sometimes for me to see that. I love the Mormons, really, really dislike the theology because they're deceiving the people. So that's like a cult sort of view. And I don't mean to be that way in a hurtful way, but it, it does trouble me. Just, I hope that you wake up and you study. And if you still want to be in Mormonism after that, after studying everything and objectively looking at the history of Christianity, study the apostolic fathers, study about the church, study Justin Martyrs, there's so many saints that have died um, for the church, thousands and thousands. Mormonism talks about saints, but they don't really ever talk about the saints that actually died for the church for you know hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. So please, do me a favor, study it, objectively look at it, don't fear it, learn about it, and then make a decision on how you, you can look at Mormonism and say, is this really the restored church or was it really made up? Anyway, God bless you guys, it's Pioneer Day, and have a great day. God bless.